Me or the PS5s? Comment down below, I wanna know. But what I wanna talk about more is this thing that's going around on Twitter right now that came across my timeline the other day. And I saw it and I was like, oh, that's, that's, that's ridiculous. These girls are going out there, they're scantily clad, or at least I thought, and going me or PS5. Well, I went and was searching through the trending the other day and PS5 was trending and I thought, oh, hey, what's the news with the PS5? They got game developments happening. Maybe it's something I could talk about on the channel. And do not search for PS5 on Twitter right now because it's all just TNA and like all TNA. And the reason that I want to talk about this is because... I am so saddened by the shape that the world is in right now. I found my wife when I was 18 years old and she and I, we've been, you know, we've been to hell and back with each other. We've been through hard times. We've been through good times We have four children together. And all I wish is that young men and women out there can simply find what my wife and I have found. And part of the reason that I want to talk about this is because I see this me or PS5 thing going around on Twitter. And I see young women out there bearing all for all to see and comparing themselves to a trinket that you would put in your house, right? A game box, a computer, a five to $700 device. I don't know, I don't have a PS5. I'm not quite sure how much they cost. But the fact that we have degraded women in our society to a point where even just to make a little bit of scratch online, they have to compare themselves to this thing. And I realized, how much have we devalued women in our society? Our society doesn't seem to turn out women and mothers anymore, but it seems to turn out a lot of e-thoughts, right? I mean, that is a lucrative business. It's, a, to be perfectly honest, it's kind of the modern day version of the uh, whorehouse. Turns out a lot of good money and these young women can make a lot from it. But the fact of the matter is, is you're seeing what it's doing to our young women. And I do want to focus on that. And I do know that young men have their issues as well. And I've talked about that a lot. But God help us. We have an internet culture and we seem to have a society that is pushing out these thoughts into the ethos, into the world. These young women are coming out and saying, oh, young men, what do you value more? My TNA or a PlayStation 5. Now, I would imagine that a lot of young men out there are going, uh, your TNA, which the young men, and that's a whole parasitic relationship are there that, that we won't get into. But a lot of other people are just like, nah, the PS5, because the PS5, because these e-thoughts are not providing anything to young men. They're not giving anything of value to young men. And it was when that thought hit me that I... I couldn't help but go, this is what I need to talk about this evening. In the search for the thumbnail of this video, I chose an Amaranth tweet because it was the most conservative one out there. I can't even pull up the me or PS5 thing on Twitter right now to talk about this because it would get me flagged on YouTube and probably have my channel stricken into oblivion. But what makes me so sad is that we've gotten to the point where young women feel that they have to do this. The comparison between object and person and that young women are doing it to themselves. It's not that men are objectifying women. Women are now objectifying themselves. And you say, well, that's just preposterous. These women, they're strong. They're independent. They just, you know, they just, they, they're proving it to the man by showing off the goods. And it's like, but they're comparing themselves to a piece of hardware. They're comparing themselves to a piece of hardware. They're not even comparing themselves to like a woman lawyer or a mother. You know, a woman standing there with a baby cooking some food. They're comparing themselves to an object. We talk so 
demonizingly about men who objectify women. And admittedly, men are going to do that. And guess what? Women are going to objectify men too. Ask me how I know. I've heard the conversations that women have when they get a couple drinks in them. I've heard the conversations that men have when they get a few. Hell, I've heard the conversations that men have on a construction site. I'm a construction worker. But we have gotten to the point where it is acceptable in society that women have lost all value in themselves, no matter how much money they're making online, that they have to put posts out there. And and legitimately, there's a, and, and I would argue, and for people like, oh, it's sarcastic, it's not real, it doesn't matter. And I'm like, I would argue that there's some truth in that. And I would argue that these young women are actually asking a somewhat honest question. Hey, me or a piece of hardware, what's more valuable to you? Now... Again, many men are probably going out there and saying, hey, you're more valuable to me than the piece of hardware. But what is it doing to these young women when men go out there and say, sorry, sweetheart, I'll take the piece of hardware. You don't add value to my life. And that's the crux of the situation. It would seem that men and women in our generation are no longer adding value to each other's lives. We're all simply just objects to be toyed around with and played around with online. I do hope that something changes. So, ladies and gentlemen, let me know down in the comments below what you think on this particular subject. And if you guys just want to have fun and for the lulls, answer the question. A drink with crazy or a PS5? That's right, objectify the shit out of me. <laughs> but never forget, no matter how many times you guys come back and you comment down below, I dedicate a special live stream to all of the people who comment on my channel to make sure that you guys know that I am actually reading your comments. And that's called Sunday Coffee. It's at 11 a.m. every Sunday, Central Time. I want you guys to know that I am there reading your comments every Sunday and having a blast in the live chat with all of you. So that way I can read your comments and then you could be in the live chat. And if I read your comment wrong, you can say, hey, that's not how I intended it. Here's what you need to know. Stop being an idiot. Read my comment right. Right? I've got to be put in check. And the best way to be put in check is to read your comments live. So I hope to see you all there. And ladies and gentlemen, until next time. Cheers, everybody. Thank you all for being here on A Drink With Crazy. If you guys never want to miss a notification for the channel, go down in the link in the description and click that button to follow me and support me over on Locals. It's free to join, but that's where you can support me with money if you so choose. Also, don't forget to click those Rumble and Odyssey links so that way we can get over there and keep that growing. And until next time, cheers, everybody.